Although initially hesitant to attack Liu Zhang, who is of the same clan as he, Liu Bei is convinced by his strategist Peng Tong to proceed with the invasion. Liu Bei advances his forces into Yi and succeeds in taking Low Castle, a key defensive position protecting Chengdu. Chengdu is within Liu Bei's grasp. If he is able to take over Yi, then proceed to take Jing, he would become a power equal to that of Cao Cao's Wei and the Sun family's Wu. Soon, Liu Bei will be the lord of his own kingdom, the Kingdom of Shu. Alright, so we have the campaign for Jing and the campaign for Chengdu. And I am going to play the campaign for Jing since we're covering all the stages and, well, that's what I'm going to do here. So, yeah, here we go. And as always, I'll be switching out characters. And this time, I'm actually going to go play as Zhang Fei since it's been a while. Yes, I know it's been a while to play as Liu Bei. Um, I'll probably play as him in the next stage. That way I actually have played as pretty much everyone recently to an extent. Minus Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. I mean, I'm, I have a list of which characters should I play as for which stage and whatnot already planned. So it just seems like it works well for me the way I'm doing it at the moment. And I feel like this, the way I'm doing it, playing Zhang Fei here, works well. Um... Yeah, so, the equipment, I know I have to add some stuff, since I, uh, got a lot more items the last time I played as Zhang Fei. Last time I played as Zhang Fei was the, uh, Battle of Hulao Gate. And then before that was the Yellow Turban Fortress. So, got the Tourist Amulet, and then the Tiger Amulet, there you go. Um, I've actually experimented with Zhang Fei in the Lightning Orb. It's actually pretty badass. So, yeah. Definitely, I mean, that's just me personally. Uh, bodyguards, we actually have six bodyguards now, so we're at another. And no crossbow yet. Um, I'll do a spear again. Change it up. Alright. Objectives. We need to occupy all four... Areas Changsha, Guiyang, Wuling, and Lingling. Pretty much basically defeat the four generals that are inside each of those four gates. And if you get Liang is defeated, if I die, or if we run out of time, we lose, it's a game over, plain simple. Um yeah, so uh unit info. Yeah, Juga Liang, Ma Liang, Zhao Yun. And Chung Fei, well, that's me. Um, so basically, for those four territories, you know, four things, you gotta defeat Han Chuan. Yang Ling's over there, we'll probably be defeating him as well. Defeat Lu Du. Jin Chuan. Gong Shi's there. And uh, if I have to mention Liu Shan. Liu Xian's right behind the thing as well. And then you have Zhao Fan with Chen Ying and Bao Long. And then you have Wang Zhang and Wei Yan, who, believe it or not, actually served under Liu Biao. As you saw in the story, the Jing province was taken from, well, it was passed on from Liu Biao to Cao Cao. So now they're serving Wei. Well, not for long anyway. So, yeah, I'll explain that once we get there. But for now, let's do it. First, we will all attack Ling Ling. Then, Zhao Yun will go to Gui Yang, Zhang Fei to Wu Ling. <laughs> I will destroy them all! <laughs> Yeah, right out of the gate, there's a guy that tries to plan an ambush, uh, Xing Daorong, and uh, he really 
in a way, it doesn't last long. He actually dies in this particular stage. And, uh... Apparently, I'm getting hit hard. Okay, this should be fun. If I'm gonna get hit hard this quickly, then... Oh, shit. Really? Am I gonna die to this guy? Yeah, not a chance in hell. That was fucked up. That never happened before. I love that all the stuff that never happened to me before is starting to happen here when I'm recording. Eh, that's typical shit for you. Anyway, uh, we defeated that guy very quickly. Oh, not quickly, quickly, but you know what I mean. And uh, now we're going to go and defeat... Uh, Liu Du, well, Liu Du, with Liu Xian, okay. And Liu Xian is over here. What was that? I don't know if anyone saw that, but it seemed like all the enemy troops just, just collapsed all of a sudden and then went back up. It seemed like nothing really did much. I gotta look at that again. Alright, Liu Xian is down. Now Liu Diu will Liu Du. Wow, so that was a mouthful. Anyway, we'll defeat him. Really? You gotta be fucking kidding me. There you go. That's why I think the lightning orb is badass with Zhang Fei. And you see a lot of electric shit going on. And that should kill him. Alright, one down. And I will be taking that horse with me. And we're going to go to uh, Wu Ling and defeat uh, Jin Xuan. And if I'm not mistaken, he's going to come out and he's actually going to challenge you to a duel. And, uh. Lord Jin Xuan, for the people's sake, we must surrender. I'm not afraid of Leo Bay. Open the gate. And if I'm right, then he shouldn't be that hard to defeat in comparison to Lu Bu. Control yourself. You don't stand a chance against me. And as you know, I'm not gonna turn down any duel. So, this should end pretty quickly. Or not, right out of the gate, a fucking clash. Told ya. Alright, and we're going to try to go and defeat Gong Shi, even though he's running away. I don't think we're going to defeat him anyway, but now I'm trapped. 
Predator units come about and engage the enemy reinforcements. Alright, gate captain is down. I will not fight a war I can't win. Open the gates. Wait, he defeated them already? What? Liu Bei is nothing. I will destroy him. Well, since we defeated him, we're going to go and defeat the other commander up there. Well, believe it or not, if you, de uh, if you defeat both Bao Long and, uh, I can't think of the other one off the top of my head without looking, Chen Ying, then Zhao Fan will actually withdraw. But I want to actually try to defeat him to get more experience. And also, heads up, reinforcements will arrive and try to defeat Zhuge Liang, uh, Sao Ren, and Zha Hou Yuan. So, you want to go and defeat them as quickly as you can as well. Actually, believe it or not, they're actually here. When did this happen? Okay, so, two minutes ago approximately. I guess that's what happens when I'm not looking at the thing in the bottom for updates. But, uh, yeah. So, that's who that is down there. Sal Ren and Zhao Yuan. And for some reason, their attacks are overkill. So, be very careful when you face them. I am getting that full thing of health because I am not dying. I don't even care if I wasted a Musu attack. He's not going to last long anyway. Especially with this. You know what? I'm going to bring him over here. I have my reasons for it. I'm going to bring him over here. Cause I'm going to try to defeat Chen Ying and defeat Zhao Fan at the same time. Alright, that's one down. And he's down. It's over already. Let us go as well. We came all the way from Luo Castle. Might as well make ourselves useful. And Pong Tong's here. And if I'm not mistaken, Guan Yu was here a while ago. I'm not even looking at the thing, like I said. With Pong Tong, though, if you play the battle of Luo Castle, and if he's alive by the end of it, he will arrive here. So, if you don't play the battle of Luo Castle, um... I don't think he arrives, and obviously if you kill him, well, you let him die in that, uh, stage, the Battle of Little Castle, he won't arrive. So, yeah. But anyway, um, the Dim Sum in the Musuwan locations, I'm gonna grab them before heading to Sao Ren and Zhao Yuan. Um...
One of them is over here. I'm trying to remember where it was. Um, it wasn't north. I think it was south. It was south on both sides, actually. What was it? Uh, no. Wow, I have a massive brain fart at the moment. I can't even remember. Oh, I think this is it. Yeah, there it is. Wow. Talk about random memory loss right there for a second. And the dim sum is where I was when I challenged uh, Jin Xuan to a duel. And uh, it's southwards. But you know what? Let's go and defeat Zhao Ren and Zhao Yuan first before we even do that. Because after we defeat those two, we have two others to two others left to defeat, if that makes any fucking sense. So we'll do that. And then uh, it'll end right then and there. Because I'm going to show you a little trick. Well, for anyone that doesn't know anyway, uh, I'll actually explain it once we get there. But for now, we're going to defeat Zhao Yuan and Sao Ren. And like I said before, just be careful because for some reason, their attack, and their attack is stronger than normal. And I'm not saying just for the fact that they're playable characters. I'm just saying it because, well, for some random reason, they're just stronger here. I'll show you what, my, what I mean if I actually get hit. Like that, you see? That one Musu attack took my whole health bar down to half. And Sao Ren did a double whammy on me. So, guess what I'm going to have to do? Run away. And grab some health. I am not fond that I had to do that so quickly, but... And I wasn't expecting a double whammy. But, you know, it is what it is. I am not dying. And I'm not having them both face me at the same time. Shit. What the fuck was that? Alright, he's almost dead. One down. Shit. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Alright, I'll defeat this elite guard. And then grab health and then defeat Zhao Yuan. Wow. I knew he, they were going to be difficult, but I didn't expect it to be this difficult. Shit. I hate that attack. I hate that charge attack. Does it seem like they never miss? All right, goodbye. I would lose at archery. Yeah, both Zhao Yuan and Huang Zhang both have that particular charge attack. And for some reason, it just feels like they never miss with that charge attack. Could I try it? And I miss. I don't know. Maybe I, I just suck at the character. I mean, <laughs> that's just me. But anyway, um, I'm going to go and secure a gate and grab some health. Then we're going to, well, grab the dim sum and then defeat Wang Ling and then Huang Zhang. What my, what's going to happen there is once Yan, well, Yang Ling is defeated, Huang Zhang will come out. He'll challenge you to a duel more likely. And if you manage to defeat him in the duel, that's fine. And obviously, if you defeat him in general, then 
after that, there's going to be a cutscene where the last uh, commander, Han Xuan, will try to kill Huang Zhang, and Wei Yan decides to kill him instead, and Wei Yan will actually defect. I'm not entirely sure with Huang Zhang in the stage, because I always save Han Xuan for last, and when that cutscene is triggered, well, believe it or not, with that cutscene being triggered, that, and for the fact that I save him for last, that will pretty much end the game. And the only uh, evidence, so to speak, that I have or to think of that theory is once we're done with the stage, it will only show Wei Yan defecting. But uh, it doesn't show anything with Hong Zhang. And I'll show you that as well once I... Once I get there. And here's the dim sum. And I know right now my KO count is actually pathetic. But, uh. Yeah, it just seemed really weird. Like how. You know what? I'm not gonna even bother. <laughs> because I've, uh. I am saying, could it be because of the stats? Like, poor stats at the moment? Like, I've done this before. And. Eight months ago when I did this, it wasn't even as near of a fraction as difficult as it was now. Well, as it is now. So, I don't know. It's just unusual for me. But like I said, usually things go right for you. It's just that type of karma. Or what, I'm not saying karma, but more of typical shit that you see every day when it comes to recording stuff, well to me personally. Stuff that you do that seems perfectly right goes bad. And then the things that you know that are going to go bad, you're going to be pretty much flawless on. So, I don't know. And Youngling's down. And now Huang Zhang is going to come out. I bow to your skills. And like I said, Huang Zhang will very likely challenge you to a duel. And he's a lot difficult out here than in a duel. So you want to defeat him now in the duel. Alright, let's see what I can do. Shit. I completely missed my chance in that one. I saw that coming a mile away. Oh yeah, and they can actually gain back their health here. So if they gain back your health, there's no chance in you actually beating them into a duel. Or beating them in a duel. Oh my god, that was so fucking close. I almost had him. And if I defeated him, it would have ended it right then and there. But now, I'm going to have to do it the hard way. And I'm going to go and grab some health, because I have a feeling I'm going to need it. Especially with that Archer Tower. I do not want to have that same experience here that I did in the past. I was looking for health, and all of a sudden, a fucking archer from an archer tower snipes me out and kills me. Worst fucking experience in the world. Especially when it was a full thing of health. Where the fuck is the... thing? There's a thing over here. There has to be a thing over here. There's no thing? Uh, 
Oh, there it is. I'm like, where the fuck is the pot? Oh, there's nothing in there? Maybe it's the one up here? There it is, and there's a gate captain too. So I can actually do something. Cause I know. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, so this has to be it. Watch, I'm gonna get fucking sniped. And this is the game that I actually got sniped in too. Okay. I feel a little bit better, but I wanna be more secure. And I wanna defeat the gate captain. I am not chanting that shit. Absolutely not. And we'll defeat Huang Zhang right now. I just, I just wish I'd be able to defeat <laughs> Huang Zhang in the duel. I was so fucking close. Oh, I'm not gonna go around a fucking circle. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, that was bullshit. Alright, he needs to quit shooting it up. Alright, this guy needs to quit shooting it up. Goodbye. I may be out of arrows, but I still have a bow. All right, and now just wait for it, and you can finish the game doing absolutely nothing. And that's a win. Like I said, if you defeat Huang Zhang, Wei Yan will defeat the last guy. Well, in this case, the last guy I needed to defeat instead. And then he'll defect. If you defeat Huang Zhang before you do anything else, I'm going to assume that if you actually go and defeat Zhao Fan last, then Wei Yan will actually be on your side. But... Typically, I defeat the three of them before going to Han Xuan, and when I defeat Wang Zhang, Wei Yan will defeat Han Xuan, and Wei Yan won't be able to do anything in the stage, just because it'll be over. But anyway, it took us 18 minutes and 36 seconds, not that bad. It could have been a lot uh, shorter, but, you know, it is what it is. I mean, I could if I was that close to defeating Wang Zhang in a duel, and... After that, I had to run away and grab health because obviously I was going to get killed very quickly. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, we've got a Peacocker in level 5. Oh, I'm sorry. We have a level 5. We got a level 4. So we're not going to need it. Dragon Amulet level 4. I think we have a level 2 or 3. I'm not mistaken, but it's better than what we have now. So... 79 KOs, which is kind of pathetic, but it is what it is. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 11. Uh, named officers, generals, whatever you call it. Uh, I missed one by... Uh, uh, I missed Jin Xuan's uh, 
officer, and then obviously Wei Yan defeated Han Xuan, and then Wei Yan defected, so yeah. So we have 4,341 points here. And we should have Zhang Fei's rank down to level 9, maybe? Yep. Maybe 8? No, no 8. Okay. And the points. Let's see here. Alright. So we got our first level 4 weapon. And... That is the Iron Pike. And... Yeah, so we'll have the Iron Pike for Zhang Fei from levels 4 through 7. And, well, 4 through 6. And after it reaches level 7, it'll be the third tier, or the third level, uh, whatever you want to call it. Because I, it's two completely different sets here. Once Dynasty Warriors 5 happened, well, once you play Dynasty Warriors 5, it's back to the third, fourth weapon, so to speak. So, I'm going to think of it like in both ways, even though it's going to confuse the hell out of me a little bit, but eh, it's fine. So yeah, now we have a level 4 Dynasty Warriors 4 style weapon, and uh, we can have a max attacks of 5, which we're going to need later on, for sure. So anyway, we got that, and the bodyguards did increase a little bit, and uh, the level went up, and uh, there you go. So that's it. And since we completed the campaign of Jing, or well, campaign for Jing, we unlock Wang Zhang and Wei Yan. And we'll save. And there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures, and I'll see you in the next part. We'll take on the campaign for Chengdu. Peace out.